Hey guys, Emma Sketch here, and as you guys know, I was doing the Warrior Cat Clan Challenge. Our clan was Thorn Clan. I had a lot of fun doing this challenge, and honestly, I wasn't sure how it would go. I kind of expected myself to quit after the first two videos or so, but here we are at the final video. I will admit, Thorn Clan was a very decently large clan, and I didn't originally expect to make six videos for one clan. Thorn Clan, the tactless and affectionate. Honestly, so many of these cats I just fell in love with when I designed them. But let's get on to the clan. First, we have Yellow Star, Thorn Clan's arrogant leader. She's a short haired, blue and cream mackerel torty she cat with amber eyes. When drawing her, I did decide to give her some scars and a snappy personality. She seems to rush into things and uses actions rather than words to solve her problems. Her deputy, Cinderblaze, is the complete opposite of her, though. Cinderblaze is a soft-spoken and laid-back, trying to help her clanmates to the best of her ability. Cinderblaze is the daughter of Yellow Star with an unknown father, thus why she looks so similar to it. She's a blue and cream classic torty tabby she-cat with long fur and hazel eyes, getting her fur length and her eye colors from her father. Next we have is Thorn Clan's medicine cat, Poppy Flower, a beautiful short furred red mackerel tabby with yellow eyes. She is a young medicine cat, but originally did not train to be one. It wasn't until a few moons after her warrior ceremony that she started to train as a medicine cat after the previous one joined Star Clan without ever training an apprentice themselves. Because of this, she had to give up her kits and her mate, allowing another cat to raise them as if they were their own, since she was the quickest learner in the clan and was the only one who knew any basic herbs due to spending so much time in the medicine cat's den as an apprentice. Now onto our warriors. Our first warrior is Swanfoot, a short haired white tom with blue eyes. He was purchased by my friend Blue, and since everyone kept asking about his scars, her and I did discuss a small backstory for him. Swanfoot received his scars when he was a young apprentice, roughly a moon after he became one. Him and his sisters, Bogpaw and Thymepaw, decided to go out on their own and impress their mentors. The three of them ran into a stray dog and got attacked, but by sheer luck, they managed to survive and escape. Being more injured than his sisters, Swanpaw did spend more time in the medicine cat's den healing, shutting down and shutting everyone out. However, around this time, a young Swanpaw managed to worm her way into his heart, and the two of them formed a close bond. By the time Swanfoot became a warrior, he came into terms with his injury and started to not care what others think about him anymore. He, however, adores Spiderheart very much and was thrilled to become a father, being protective of his kids and adopted kit. Next we have is Ginger Ear, a red classic tabby tom with short fur and yellow eyes. He's very arrogant and rash, rushing into things without a second thought. Besides that, he is actually currently up for sale. You can purchase him over on my DeviantArt or Toy House. I will have it in the description if he does end up getting sold. Our next warrior, Beachbriar, is a short-haired, fawn classic tabby tom with copper eyes. He has a folded ear and a t short tail. Beach is actually very close to Poppy Flower, being her best friend and someone who sh she can rely on with all of her problems and concerns. He spent his time as a warrior looking out for the apprentices, helping them out in any way that he could with their training. The next warrior we have is the bubbly Rooknose, a short-haired black she-cat with yellow eyes. I didn't want to make her a solid black, so I did give her spots since most of the clan already are tabbies. And just like Ginger Ear, she is currently up for sale and you can purchase her over on my DeviantArt or Toy House. Slugfur is a long-furred black tabby tom with copper eyes. He is a very anxious boy, constantly worried that something will happen, especially since he has two younger sisters and is constantly looking after them after their parents' passing. His anxiousness gets worse when his mate, Tawny Stripe, had kids. Constantly worried that something will happen to her or their two little bundles of joy, Sage Kit and Marigold Kit, and is terrified of them ever leaving the nursery to become apprentices. Our next one is Fogthroat, a short furred blue she cat with copper eyes. I did design her to be a blue point instead of a solid blue just to give her a little bit more since I didn't want to just be plain and make her just a solid blue. She was also purchased by Blue as well as her litter mates. Fogthroat feels like she has to constantly prove herself since today her and her siblings were attacked. The final warrior of Thorn Clan is Thymeheart, a short furred blue mackerel tabby she cat with yellow eyes. Her left eye is scarred from her own injuries 
and she is quick to jump into fights and can be very rash at times. Like her siblings, she was purchased by my friend Blue. Now onto our apprentices. We have Russetpaw, a black and red ticked tabby tortoy she cat with short fur and amber eyes. She's extremely sassy and always gets into trouble with her brother, Redpaw. The pair also tends to pick on Cootpaw, but they see it more as a funny joke instead of any harm, not realizing how much harm they are actually causing to the young apprentice. Redpaw is a short haired red classic tabby tom with yellow eyes. He loves playing pranks on his clanmates and is constantly getting into trouble with his sister, Russetpaw. He never knows when he goes too far with his prank, constantly getting scolded by Yellow Star and Cinderblaze. Next we have is one of Slugfur's younger sisters, Ravenpaw, a short-furred black mackerel tabby she-cat with amber eyes, looking a lot like her older brother. She's pretty laid back but also tends to get in fights with Russetpaw and Redpaw while protecting Koopaw, not understanding why they choose to bully her sister out of all cats. Besides that, she is very sweet and soft-spoken, constantly following her mentor, Cinderblaze, around to help her out as much as she can. Lightpaw is a mostly white, chocolate mackerel calico she-cat with short fur and hazel eyes. Nothing to say about Lightpaw, as she was previously purchased on DeviantArt and is no longer a part of Thorn Clan. Our final apprentice is Cootpaw, a black and red mackerel tortoise she-cat with short fur and green eyes. She mostly keeps to herself and is constantly in her own head with low self-esteem thanks to Russetpaw and Redpaw, not having the courage to speak up about their actions and how much they actually affect her. She feels as if she cannot trust her clanmates and doesn't even trust her own sister, Ravenpaw, when she tries to rescue her over the bullying. Our first queen is Tansy Stripe, a short furred red mackerel tabby she cat with golden eyes. She is actually Poppy Flower's litter mate. She's very loving, especially to her kits, and is very laid back, but she acts motherly to all of the cats of the clan. She loves her mate dearly, but wishes he would calm down at times and not be super anxious, or that it will affect his health in the long run. Their daughter is named Miracle Kit, while their son is named Sage Kit. Thankfully, neither of them got their father's anxious personality, and they actually drive him mad when they decide to sneak out to adventure together. Our next queen is Sycamore Heart, a short-haired caramel she-cat with green eyes. She has a Scottish fold ear and has a beautiful dappled pelt. Sycamore was purchased by my friend Kate and her mate is currently unknown for lore reasons, but she is staying in Thornclan. Our final queen is Spiderheart, Swanfoot's loving mate. She is a stunning long haired white she cat with black and red calico tail and ears and golden eyes. She is an overall sweetheart who tries to see the good in every cat and loves her three kits dearly. Her adopted kit's name is Finch Kit, and her two newborn kits are Snow Kit and Sweet Kit. Before we get to the elders, I do want to say that all of them are currently up for sale. You can find them on my DeviantArt or Toy House. Roanheart is a mostly white, black and red calico she-cat with short fur and hazel eyes. She is actually currently sold on DeviantArt. Hollyberry is a short furred, red classic tabby tom with green eyes. He has a scarred face and a short tail. Darling Throat is a long furred black ticked tabby tom with yellow eyes due to his old age he is going blind and as of right now he is currently pending for payment our final elder is crow face a black classic tabby tom with short fur and copper eyes he is a very angry elder and is super snappy at the younger cats and that includes the descriptions of the thorn clan cats i thank you all so much for all the support you have shown for the thorn clan series I do plan to start our next clan, Clover Clan, shortly, which is a neighboring clan to Thorn Clan. But until then, enjoy the rest of the speed paint of the Thorn Clan kits.